Hello everyone, in this video we will start working on the major layer of this project that is AngularJS. So we have successfully implemented our business object layer, we implemented data access layer, business logic layer and web APIs. Now it is the time for us to implement our UI that is nothing but AngularJS. We are going to create a web project and we are going to create AngularJS UI. So I'll name it as EIS.AngularJS UI. And here is the list of components that we require to work with AngularJS. Definitely we require the basic core AngularJS. We require route for routing purpose. That is navigation among various pages. Anyway, it is a single page app. I need to load various views on the same page. So I need route cookies. I need it to store the values of a user to maintain the session of the user. I can use cookies pagination. I need it for grid view and angular loading bar. This is what I need to show a loading icon when a request is under process. And finally, I need bootstrap and we will try to get a free CSS for bootstrap using boots watch portal. So these are the things that we need to get started with our angular JS UI. So let me start its implementation. I'll select the project solution, right click and I'll say add new project web ASP.net. This time I'll name it as EIS dot angular JS UI. Let it be empty project. Click on OK. Let's cancel this. Now I'll add manage new kit packages. So the packages that I need, first of all, I need angular JS core so I'll install this and I also need route so I'll also install this and I also need cookies I will install that I need bootstrap I will install bootstrap I need pagination so angular JS utils dot pagination i'll install this you can see that we got cookies core route pagination bootstrap the left out part is angular loading bar angular loading bar so these are the things that we got so we have installed so you can see in the install list cookies core route pagination load bar and bootstrap so these are the things that we need while working with angular js project these are our requirements there are a lot of other plugins or you can say libraries these are all javascript libraries that you may use so there are no restrictions in it now i'll go to boots watch and i will download a theme from there so this is the theme that we are using flatty i'll just click on download and i'll try to download uh, both the files mini css right click i'll say save as i will save it on desktop say save i will also try to download bootstrap.css i'll simply right click and say save as on desktop i'll say save so i got these two files which are on desktop now what i need to do go to content and bootstrap.css i need to replace these two files css and mini.css so i'll just select this content right click add existing item click on desktop this press control and this so i'm selecting these two 
yes i want to replace it i want to replace it i have replaced both the files so now my new theme is ready with me so new theme is nothing but this flatty is the new theme that i have with me so that's it we are all set with the files or the content that we require so in our next video we will start creating our directory structure so that's it for this video thank you very much